Yeah. Call this meeting of Ohio County Fiscal Court to order on this uh, July the 9th, 2019, 5 p.m. I'm going to ask uh, Larry Morphew to lead us in a prayer and a place of flag. Father, we just come before you tonight thanking you, God, for your many blessings. God, you're you're still in charge of everything, and we just thank you for that, Lord. We just ask you to, to be with this court tonight as we do the county business. and Give us a wisdom, Lord, and knowledge, and the courage to do what would be pleasing to you and what's right. God, we just ask you to continue your blessings upon us, lead, guide, and strengthen us. And we just give you the praise in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Uh, before you have the minutes of June 24th meeting, uh, I need a motion to approve. So moved. Motion by Larry Morphew. Second. Second by Larry Cowan. Is there any discussion, corrections, or additions? Discussion, corrections, or additions? Being none, all in favor say aye. Aye. Opposed like sign. Motion carries. Before you have the bills, claims, payments, and transfers. Uh, a motion to approve. So moved. Motion by Larry Count. Aye. Second by Larry Morphew. Jason. Okay. Go ahead and put Jason. Both of them did it. Oh, okay. Uh, that, we'll, we'll get we'll, we'll, we'll get it. Second dollar over the play. Okay. Good deal. That's a good deal. A discussion on the bills. Any discussion? Being none. Roll call, Miranda. Barnes? Yes. Johnson? Yes. Cam? Yes. Morphew? Yes. Bullock? Yes. Uh, the bills, claims, payments, and transfers are approved. Uh, now you have before you the June 2019 Treasurer's Financial Report. I uh, need a motion to acknowledge that we got it. So moved. Motion for Larry Cam. I'll second. Second by Jason Bullock. Uh, any discussion or questions for Ann about her financial statement? Uh, for the record, this is for us. Is this subject audit? So, uh, all in favor say aye. Aye. Opposed like sign. It's a proof. It's a proof that we uh, acknowledged it, that we got it. Budget amendment. Man, a budget amendment 2020-1. Is this second reading? First. First reading for the budget amendment of 2020-1. Uh, I would so move, Jim. Motion by Larry Kim. Can I have a second? Uh, I, 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 no, I had it already. Heard. Yeah. Is there a second? I'll second. Second, Jason Bullock. Larry Cam, Jason Bullock. Okay. Uh, is there any discussion on the uh, budget amendment 2020-1 first reading? Make sure you note that in the minutes. Uh, uh -huh. The water line fund. So, do we have that amount of money in there? That's what's left at the end of the year, and we'll transfer over for that. Do we still have projects that's pending? Several, yes. Okay. There's a list. Okay. Go ahead. Uh, and okay. Okay. <coughs> Barnes? Yes. Johnston? Yes. Cam? Yes. Morphe? Yes. Small. Yes. That uh, motion carries. What's this I'm signing? That's what you just did. That's the ordinance. Yeah. Um, we won't have a uh, item here. The public facilities corporations needs to open a bank account, and we need to prove it. Uh, how how would that motion want to read that we approve the? Bank account, opening of a bank account for the Public Facilities Corporation. Do I have a motion? And I'll need to transfer $100 in there just to get it open. Okay. Now, who's this for, Ann? The hospital, the Public Facilities Corporation, and the Public Facilities Corporation. Okay. Uh, 
hospital is doing a um, surgical wing addition, uh -huh. and in order to obtain the best rates, it needs to go through the Public Facilities Corporation, which is the courts. Which is us. So basically, we're going to let them pass through uh, that corporation. Is that using our bonding authority? Okay. Yeah. This is what they talked to us a while back about. Yeah. yeah. Well, how much they call people? It was several million dollars. Well, they just opened for a hundred dollars. Well, they can drill on a lot of it. Right. You all will actually have to approve the bills, and I'll have to write the checks. So you get to look at their time they're doing that. Did we get a motion? I'll make a motion. Motion with Joe Barnes. Second. Second with Larry Cam. Any further discussion? Being none. Roll call. Barnes? Yes. Johnston? Yes. 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 Morfield? Yes. Bullock? Yes. Uh, the, uh, did y'all get, did you, they get copies of the health department's rights? No, but I have them here. They can copy. Uh, the uh, health department has to give us their tax rates, present them to the court. We can't approve them or disapprove them, but we just have to acknowledge that they did give them to us. Uh, I didn't attend the last one, but I believe they took the four percent, right, uh, Larry? Did the, did the health department take their standards over? I was in the hospital. Zero I didn't five. make the meeting. I'm I sorry. wasn't at it. Point zero four five. Point zero four five is the new rate. So I just need motion to acknowledge what that they did the... give it to us. Move to acknowledge. Motion by Larry Cam. To have a second. Take dollars we accept the dollars second. Take them to Jason Bullock. How much was it, Judge? What, what? Zero point five. Zero point four five, so four and a half percent. Yeah. So it's almost half a percent. Yeah. If you remember they just raised three quarters of a percent here. Yeah. Oh, if you remember last year, which we were both at, I went, we, neither one was there this year. Well, I was in the hospital. Yeah, we well, I don't know why. I think I forgot it, to be honest. But it was raised. We knew we was going to raise it one and a half percent in three increments because the amount paid to the Green River District Health Department was more than Ohio County Health Department got in taxes. But I can't understand raising it when they had over three quarters of a million dollar in reserve and yeah, it well, just. Uh, at the, and at I the, asked them at the time. They said, "Well, we ain't raised it in a while." And but, at the half a percent at a time, it was going down. I mean, what going up. it was eating into the reserves every year. It was going to cut into it. Three quarter of a million is a lot of reserves. Yeah. All right. We had the motion and second to acknowledge this. To, any further discussion? Being none. All in favor say aye. Uh, Opposed. Like sign. Motion carried. We have a presentation here from uh, Ohio County Skill Train. Come right on up and introduce yourself to them, and uh, we'll uh, listen to what you got here. Thank you, sir. My name is Lindsay Caper. I am with OCTC Skill Train, uh, which serves Davis, Ohio, McLean, and Hancock counties with GED services, preparation for college, and ESL, English as a second language instruction. We have been um, housed in the community center here for longer than I've been a part of the organization. I don't even know, Judge, how long it's been. Uh, ever since the building's been here, actually. There we go. And um, we're really grateful for you all allowing us to use your space. And I'm here today to request that we continue to be able to use your space. I'm with Michelle Finch. Also, I feel like I should say she is our instructor who has been in Ohio County before. This whole past fiscal year was in Davis County. Um, but starting again this month, she'll be in here in Ohio County two days a week. Um, we would love to continue using the space that you all have available here. It's two, um, there are two doors, you probably all know which space it is, but there, it's, yeah, it's right below here. There are two doors that go into that main hallway. Um, we are mostly just using the space that is on the, the door on the left hand side. Um, so, you know, in all honesty, we would be, it would be easy for us to, to give back the other half of that if you guys need it. We've kept an eye on it in case there's something that fit there that we need space for. Okay, so great. when we 
approve yours, we'll just approve the parts you're using. Okay. That'd be wonderful. So we would just request, if, if possible, if the court would allow us to continue use, like, utilizing the space this fiscal year, which would run through June of 2020. Um, that's that's I, the request we have. You know, like I said, as we do this each year, and uh, uh, it's the basically the uh, adult ad is what's called skill train, and uh, of course it does provide some great services to our county, help with people get their GD and that sort of thing. So um, I would like a motion to approve that. That's what my Make a motion. I'll second. Joe Barnes, second. By Jason Bullock. Is there any? Uh, any further discussion or questions? If not, all in favor say aye. Aye. Polls like sign. We're going to keep you for another year. Thanks, sir. We appreciate you. Yeah. You're a keeper, in other words. Oh, thank you. So I'm getting close to you. Probably have to Okay. And uh, see, so you got the papers ready from your sign. Okay. You're going to have to have it. You know what I'm Sorry, we, we're held up just a second. We've got to go get these the governor's discretionary agreements. And bring them over on those three roads that was announced at the last meeting. Uh, there's going to be a special call meeting toward the end of the month. Do you want to host it in Fordsville? No, I don't know. Okay. Joe's not ready. He won't do it later. Do you know what do? Uh huh. not ready. Oh, can we get a? Can we all meet at the airport flight there, maybe? How long does it take to get there? <laughs> he said he wasn't interested. Oh, he's okay. okay. Uh, <coughs> not at this time. Jim. Not at this time. At this time. Um, okay. What I need is a motion to approve the uh, governor's discretionary funds that were announced at the last court meeting. <coughs> Which, if you recall, was. Oh my God. Off of the off of the jersey. That ain't it. But that's one big mouth of the form. Ball knob, horse mark, and loop, and Hamlin Chapel are the three rows. So I'd like to have a motion to approve that. Make a motion. Uh, motion by Joe Barnes. That also authorized me to sign the papers. Be sure to get second. that in the thing. Got a motion and second. Now, uh, these are three roads at uh, discretionary money from the governor? Yeah. yeah, the ones he announced at the last meeting that Mr. Uh, uh, Mark Welch came and announced. Okay, all in favor say aye. I aye. Opposed like sign. <coughs> got it covered here. I'm Okay, the next step. Uh, it's the road department compensation schedule. I think we've got an amendment to talk about that. Uh, Joe, uh, you want to explain that, or Renetta, you want Renetta to? Uh, this one was just handed to me. Yeah, you uh, We implemented the new wage scale uh, for the road department effective July 1. And once we met with some of the employees, we, they, we found out that they had some additional qualifications. So we're wanting just to amend the wage compensation schedule for the road department, making it effective July 1, so we can retro the right one, this is what this is about. one was kind of class A with license, and we didn't have it on there. All right, I'll, I'll make a motion to accept this. Motion by, motion by Joe Barnes. Second by Jason Boat. Uh, I don't know. Any further discussion or questions on that for anybody? anybody? Being none, all in favor say aye. Aye. Opposed like sign. The attend. Next is the attendance policy. Larry, you was on that. Uh, were, you, were you here at the... Uh, uh, admin code meeting when this was discussed? No, it was not. Okay. So you want to explain that to us? 
prepared to have a motion uh, to do. But what that is, if the court has asked for an attendance policy to put, be put in place for the county employees, uh, this is the policy that I had um, sent to you all a, a, a month ago. Uh, there's not been any changes. We've talked about it uh, a very, at various times, uh, but uh, that's, that's what was in front of you. Um, it is separate than what their Let me see that when you get to that's the motion we need. Let me see the policy itself. You got the policy right here. Here's the policy itself. That's the motion you need to approve. Scheduling of time off, and that's what this is addressing. Yeah. Um, Joe, have you read that? Yeah, I mean, we're there to talk about it. it didn't change okay, okay. any of their, uh, okay. their benefits or anything, just about scheduling it. Right, right. So we can... Right. Uh, I was, in, I was in on the media, too. So. Oh, okay. I'm sorry. Both of the... the I, I was looking in the wrong direction. Well, I think it's like Larry might not only he was... I don't Larry's know. on the committee, but he wasn't here. Okay. Well, I'll tell you what, guys. To uh, be perfectly honest, uh, I can't be called the same day and expect to be at the meeting at 2 o'clock. If you gonna want me at the meeting, you need to come... Call me prior to it, a day prior to it, so I can make arrangements to be there. That's fair enough. Um, do I have a motion to approve this? I'll make a motion. Uh, motion by uh, Jason Bullock. Here a second. Joe. Joe Barnes. Joe was the motion. Joe was motion by Joe Barnes. Do I have a second? I'll second. You. Second by Jason Bullock. Okay. They sound a lot like down on that end sometimes. <coughs> I knew the mo I knew it come from that direction. Uh, is there any further discussion or questions for Renetta or Joe? Well, this news to me, so give me just a minute, Joe, okay. so I can. Okay, we'll read give over a minute this. before we vote. We do have motion in a second. So you don't be missing if you do that's not here. Now, can I have a copy of that? Oh, you don't have to get to me now, but I don't want to I think I have to do it in I'll do it by executive order. <coughs> I don't think I got it. I might have, I'm just glacing if I did. Oh, right. You ready to vote? I am. I don't know about Larry. Yeah. yeah. All in favor say aye. Aye. Opposed like sign. Motion carries. We have three little, three personnel items, I believe. One or two. Just three. three. The first one, uh, at the senior center, we're going to bring in Donald Lowell as a med meal driver substitute, which we've hired this two or three times and they didn't stay. That's the reason you keep hearing this come up. David, but, David, this is not a substitute. This is a part-time meal driver. Okay, I'm sorry. Donald who? Donald O. L-O-W-E. Okay. I'm sorry, it is part-time. And it's a meal driver, 9.56 an hour. It is an open position. It was advertised. It effective date is he'll go to work on 7-10-19, which is tomorrow. Uh, I've submit that name. No call vote. How many hours a week? Uh, 10, 10, 11, like that. Well, yeah. somewhere. They don't get the full point two. 10, 11. Yeah. Barnes? Yes. Johnson? Yes. Cam? <coughs> yes. Morphew? Yes. Bullock? Yes. 
Everybody. The next one is uh, uh, Lane Romero at the go- seasonal at the golf course. We're changing him from attendant helper to attendant, which is a subtle difference there. But the pay rate goes from seven twenty-five to eight sixty-eight an hour. Uh, so submit that change. It fits the bu- budget and it's open position. Go call. Barnes? Yes. Johnson? Yes. Cown? Yes. Morphew? Yes. Yes. And I believe this is because the airport now, we're the fiscal agent for the airport, therefore their employees go through us, is that correct? Okay. The airport is hiring uh, Ethan Cole Bullock at eight sixty eight an hour seasonal. So roll call that one. And this is like this is the airport. Five. Three hours a week. There's my one. Yeah. It's seasonal. It's less than full time. Okay. Yeah. Johnson. Yes. Cam. Yes. Morphy. Yes. Bullock. I'm staying on this one. Okay. Uh, let's let's. Uh, is it going to cause you much trouble if I flip flop two items here? Mm-hmm. Go, give, go ahead and give me that name. Uh, I want to point Trina Oaks to the Ohio <laughs> County reappointer actually to the Ohio County Wastewater Board. Trina <coughs> Oaks O A K S. Yes. Okay. Okay. Yes. Oh, okay. okay. Yes. 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 Trina Oaks, and she's currently serving, and we're just reappointing her. So we'll call that one. Barnes. Yes. Johnson. Yes. Town. Yes. Morphew. Yes. Small. Bullock. Yes. Okay. Uh, got that and done. Now I presented to you a list of roads that we carefully went over. To try to uh, use uh, fairness in in considering the governor's discretionary funds and a whole bunch of other things, and came up with this list to present to you to uh, uh, approve for me to submit these, which I wouldn't really have to get to approval to submit it. But by you knowing I submitted them when the when the uh, resolution comes down to approve them, then you know you already know about it and it's on paper and writing. So I would like a motion to approve this list. For me to submit this Ooh. list. But technically, it's a motion to submit the list to uh, Frank. I'll make a motion. Motion with Jason Bullock. Hear a second? I'll second it then. Discussion? Well... Judge, it may be evident the reason we didn't get a second is because uh, of the flex money, which is a total of $319,000. Unfortunately, the 4th District just ended up with 60000 and uh, have 30% of the roads, and that formula just doesn't work out for the 4th. Uh, and that's my beef with it. Um, it should be about a hundred thousand dollars. Well, flex money should not go by the uh, districts like that. But we did consider it because of the governor's discretionary money, and none of that went to the first and second districts. So we're trying to make up some to them, plus the needs that are reflected, especially in the district one road, is something that desperately is needed. It goes to a lot of houses and a lot of chance of potential development out there where there could be maybe subdivisions put in. Uh, and uh, it would just be a very valuable thing to the economy of our county to do it. And we just really didn't want to go by the uh, by the, the formula. It makes it too long, too many roads. We put a lot of effort in here. And, you know, I, in, on y'all's individual roads, I've talked to each one of you about them, about what I submitted for. I, I, don't, I, I don't think it's fair to the residents in the 5th District because I have a paper here for the last four years. Uh, the district one's got 52 miles, and they've got 756,000, 
and uh, $674. District 5's got 166 but we've got more than that because we took in some roads. And I just got a million four hundred and six dollars. So, I mean, he's the first district getting their first share. Uh, some of the ones that went to first district, district back when, the, are, those roads are now in the fifth. Uh, the other end of Hamlin Chapel, for one thing. Uh, and then, uh, and then look at the governor's discretion. Well, last year, uh, 2017, 18, they got three hundred. Fifty-eight thousand five hundred and thirty, with fifty-two miles, and did the fifth district got two hundred and sixty-five thousand with one hundred and sixty-six miles. Well, Andy, so I've got three times the roads, and he got over. The, the gut. Well, like I said, this is one spot. That can, if you look at it as a county, we're, we need to look at the citizens of this county and how to serve them, and this would be a, a huge economic development impact uh, to get these houses the, these this housing stuff built there I mean possibly it'd be and what now I'm not, I'm not following you it's a road that needs black type of seriously really needs it bad and uh, and and there's this opportunity maybe of housing developments and stuff there there's an opportunity for it so plus you got in the fifth district you got uh, Wimelo, uh Arnold H uh, and now, and uh, I'm, I'm missing some ball mob, uh, uh, and uh, Hamlin Chapel. The rest of Hamlin Chapel that's in your district. I'm not arguing that, but I got, got three lot times of, the amount of roads. I mean, Judge. I mean, I mean, I mean, we're being fair to you because we're we we are giving that, and, and that's way more than percentage. And the way y'all work the percentage out, the first and second district would never get to do a road. Well, they're according to this so paper, smart. I've got they've done quite a few roads. Uh, like seven hundred and fifty-six thousand six hundred seventy-four dollars. They've done several roads in the last four years. <coughs> and you were supposed to compile a all the information compiled. Probably half of it I don't have I was down asking about some of it I don't have on district. Yeah. So if y'all want me to, I can mail out. Each of you, what I have done. Yeah. And let's what's uh, Would you do that, Ann? Because I don't feel like this is going to pass tonight with the motion on the floor. Well, uh, and, and, really yeah. please look over there. Well, if I knew a district or ask somebody mm -hmm. that you see one that's wrong, you know, I'll change it to the right. Okay. Uh, I'm four or five years ago, some of them, like you were saying, it was this, and now that it's that so two two ago, that some we we have a motion and a second i am going to go ahead and do roll call vote on it and i will say this if it doesn't pass um we're got to be careful i don't think we're i think we're out to try to uh uh up up somebody else in order to not and not serving what's best for our county and our road system. Well, Judge, our purpose when we were sent down here as magistrate is to represent our district. Yeah. And when I feel like that our district is uh, not get not getting its fair share, then I have to make a, a point of that. And uh, until this reflects the uh, the mileage, I Larry said he had 160 some miles in his district. I've got 200 in the fourth district. Mm -hmm. And when you have sixty thousand mm -hmm. dollars, and you got two hundred miles, that uh, well, that, that formula just don't hardly work out. And, and you did get one discretionary. You got one governor's discretionary road, but Larry Morph, you got five but over the, uh, two of these that we turned in past the night was there. So you gotten a lot of roads. Yeah, but the dollars is not adding up. I mean, uh, it's hard for me to explain to these people when they call in what the roads. And it's hard to me explain it. Well, we're going to do it over in the uh, first or the second or the another district. I mean, it, it's hard for me to explain to them why. Did the did the governor's discretionary pass on Harvey's bill with Perry Road? No, no. This is no. This is, did it, it, did, it no. It's never been submitted yet. It's oh. on my short list to do, in, in along with Scott Town, and uh, and as soon as. This is passed now, and these contracts are back, and we order these. I start over again, submit more applications. 
that Scott Town is on it. There's still two applications. And Morgantown Road will be on it. Yeah. Two, 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 two. But that's well, like we got to start over though. Whenever they do a round, he told we, the Dave start. We over. can relate the issue, but until I get uh, from Ann a list of the monies previous five years, how much is spent in each district, including discretionary money, and your flex monies. Then I'll make a decision then. So. Okay, go ahead and roll call vote in it, uh, so we got a record because it's a motion on the floor. Barnes. I would like to wait and see that. I know that I have got the governor's discretionary uh, two roads here lately, but the one road is a sizable amount for a, percent, a small percentage of roads within that district. Well, it, that particular road. The, the manager didn't put that up. Of course, he agreed to it, but I did because I know of some potential development there that's going to help this county. And one of our things that we need in our bag of tricks for economic development is housing for people to move in here to, to buy. And this would potentially do it. Could you do it in a smaller section? Like, you know, instead of the two miles, a mile or something, you know? Kind of trim it down a little bit. Possibly. How much is uh, how much would we get in total? Three hundred and eighteen thousand. So well, I know some of this we went over a little bit. Well, just a little bit. And I thought you got to put my discretionary money on something. Right, that was on there. Yeah. But uh, I actually it ended up being very little, Jason. Yeah, about two thousand. Yeah. Uh, there's a few hundred dollars difference in the two that Joe and I switched today. I thought it was the same, but it was fifteen hundred dollars different yeah, I mean, I between got, them two. I would have got eighty-two thousand six hundred eighty if you did it by the percentage of road. I'm at forty-six, which I, you know, I'm fine with being a little less and everything due to the fact that the governor's discretionary. But not having that in front of me, I kind of like to. You want to make a motion to table? I like to table it for right now. Do I have a second? Yeah. I'll vote say aye. 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 First aye. motion. No, you table it. That puts this on the table. It means it's automatic on the next agenda. And if you can uh, mail it to agenda us for the next meeting, I'll just come here. I can tell you real quick. Okay. I can tell you real quick which one's going to get your office. Okay. I would like to also have a uh, update on the per on the mileage of each district because I have <laughs> I have took in several roads and. That, I think that would come from the road department. Yeah. Okay. Do we have any committee reports? Do any committees meet with this? Has has any committees met this week? I mean, I mean, since the last meeting. I'm sorry. Uh, being being none. Uh, Matcher's comments. Uh, Sam's not here tonight. So, Jason. All right now. Joe. No, not right now. Larry. Yeah, I've got a couple of things I want to address. First of all, I want to entertain a motion. Uh, the Dundee Fire Department and Fordsville Fire Department have asked me to uh, uh, put forth a motion to authorize Zoa County Fire Department support checks be mailed to Fordsville Fire Department and Dundee Fire Department, but to be issued directly to them. Uh, we can uh, I'll probably, uh, uh, I will second that for discussion so I can bring up something. There's a there's actually an ordinance in place. If we change this, we need to amend or change that ordinance. Just so we need to rewrite it for us. Okay. Yeah, and and you, were, you was actually on the court when it done, like, uh, Richard Robinson, it was a big deal with him. Yeah, Firefighters and he, Association. And he got that done, that the ghost of the Firefighters Association, and they give, they keep a thousand, I think, from each department. Right. And give the rest of it to each department, as the, as the formula describes. Yeah. But yeah. I'm pretty sure, Ralph Miller's here, he probably knows that too. Uh, that ordinance, you, you're familiar with that? Yes. Uh, well, how about their uh, insurance and stuff? What be, are they going to do about that? Uh, well, that would be paid from the checks that they receive. Yeah. yeah. They would be responsible for their own insurance. Yeah. Oh, I did. I did. They check that was. Well, they would, they would have to. Yeah. They'd be responsible for their own insurance. Oh, yeah. Once they, we 
X amount of dollars for year in the budget that seems to be. they have to leave the association? And they take that money and do with it what they want. No, I, I think the ordinance has changed and say don't uh, pay it to the, if, if y'all chose to. I don't really know where I stand on this right now. But because the Firefighters Association is a very valuable tool moving forward, yeah. it's a very valuable thing to us. And that's the ones that work with the fire departments and with emergency management and all those Can things. Can we table that? Until well, I mean, so we can uh, the, get some more information. Yeah, uh, I think that. But like I said, if y'all chose to do this, you can. But you'll need to amend, do it by amending the ordinance. But we need to get some more information, don't we? Or? Yeah, you can get a copy of the ordinance. And but you also, if they bypassed the association and the money went straight to the fire department, and they didn't pay thousand dollars, they wouldn't be part of the association anymore. Is that right? That would be mine. Hey, that would be mine. Which would be a dangerous, slippery slope. Because the fire association is what holds all of our emergency things together. Like if we had the earthquake or the tornadoes or the whatever disaster, uh, that is the thread that holds all of it together. I think Dundee and, and Fordville would respond. If, if I may. Sure. Yeah. Come on up, Danny. We're not, we're not seeking to disband from the association. That's, that's not our intent. Our intent is to better take that money that, along with the court, we understand that finances are a little tight. We simply, like you said, there's a thousand dollars a year that comes out of each department that goes to that association. Yes. We just feel like that thousand dollars if we could manage that ourselves to put towards the things that we need in our own department rather than try to, all we're keeping up is the building and the property. We're not wanting to disman the association. And I appreciate y'all recognizing the value that the association and the fire departments have in this county. And again, we're, we're not looking to separate ourselves from the other departments. Mm -hmm. We're just looking to better shore up our own finances yeah. and have control of where that $1,000 Well, how would the association fund its activities then? You know, maintain the building and the and, things and that, that they do? That, that, that's a real good question. Again, we uh, there, there's not a department here that we cannot tell you. I've been 20 years. That building is used to have a meeting once a month. The rest of it is to maintain that building and that properties. We still function as an association. We can meet just as you gentlemen do right here in this room, or whether it be at Cromwell like you did last month. Our, our feelings is that, you know, we, we can meet at each department on a rotation. We can meet anywhere of the chosen that we choose to. And again, that's our intent. Our intent's not to disman or dismantle anything. We we strongly want to be a part of the group. We just we're just and it doesn't take money. My feeling is it doesn't take money to make a group. It takes the people. And that, that's what we're proud to have is the association of the people. You know, I'm not I'm not sure of the, what was ordinance were set in place, but I know at one time, not too many years back, the monies was sent straight to the fire department, and uh, it took everybody to get together to get it put back. The there was no ordinance. The, the ordinance, uh, there was an ordinance done, uh, and and I can't tell you the exact date, but I know it was, uh, Richard Robertson was the champion of it, so that would have been 2010 or before. Mm -hmm, before. Uh, let's, we'll, we'll take that under, and uh, Larry and Larry was the one that yeah. brought that up. They can look up the thing. I'm going to recognize Ralph, yeah. but they'll look up the ordinance and, and read it over. Ralph? Just a real quick, <coughs> not to read what he says, but to fall through what he says. The thousand dollars is collected from the fire department per year is a subscription membership to the association. It does go towards upkeep of the grounds and the facilities as it is. 
However, also with that, that money only comes up to around six or seven thousand dollars a year. Right. If you remember not too long ago, I think it's going to be probably two years ago, the Sound Association had to put forth four thousand dollars to repair the radio system. So yes. we had money at the time. We had come out, that money come out of what's yes. called contingencies. Any money left over from the thousand dollars goes into the account at the association. The money is also used for those things of uh, the repair of the uh, repeater system, repair of what we need to be done if something happens. And I'll bring it back to 2009, I think we'll give it 2009, the ice storm money. We had damage done to the, our facilities, done to the radio systems. The physical court come forth and helps us out a little bit. We, if you remember, we approached to y'all and asked you for money to help supply for the tower system itself to be replaced. Yes, sir. Joe Ford got involved with it. It was a big to do with the Joe Ford and the system that the temple, not not him, it's just it was very harsh to work with him. So the court agreed to let us have the money to repair the tower and get it going temporarily. And not too shortly after that, we got our FEMA money from that. We was one of the first departments got our FEMA money, the Fire Association. It came to some of us like thirty-two thousand dollars, I think it was. Become the following month until Association told so the court we didn't need it no more because we have our money to us to supply for that to repair the tower ourselves. So the man went back to the civil court. The reason I bring that up is, during that time, the facilities and grounds was used for the entire 19 days. That brought in $32,000 of FEMA money towards us because we had an emergency management, emergency fire center training center that housed the National Guard. Two temporary systems at the time was the special needs. It was housed there for three days before we had moved to Southern School. But they also have several firefighters that have been out for multiple use. Remember, the courthouse was deemed to the point where it was not usable because the court system that housed itself was darkened and it had a lot of misguidance and things going on. And some of the stuff hit one time. The association pulled aside. We met there for several days until the, until the court actually got an EOC established in the physical courtroom. Not the room, that's right, the courthouse. The general power supplied that for us. We already had it in place, everybody knew where to go. There's also our landing zones that we had everything for all our supplies that come in from the military and from the government. We held that at the training center first and then distributed it. So the facility is not necessarily used just for a meeting. It's also used for other things. It's recognized as a facility that we have state, federal, and local jurisdictions knows where that is used. It don't get used as much as it needs to be. I would say that 100%. We rent the facility out at times for individual parties to regenerate revenue for us to maintain some of the stuff that goes on in the facility. But however, it does not get used enough to maintain 100% of the splats, the roofs, the floors, the place by the physical court in the last seven years. The money generated from those rentals, so to say, was enough to maintain that part. But also keep in mind how the, the roof itself was damaged from the ice storm. We just maintained it until we got to replace the physical court. It was about eight years later. That came out for the association and the fire department together as a whole. So the thousand dollars that was withheld is not necessarily used to maintain the ground. It's used for other things, other functions. And well, I don't know what actually our amount is we have in our contingencies now is. But I promise you, the amount in contingency does not under, I don't say, the bills do not supersede what's in our association account to maintain the bills going into the time. Withdrawal of any money at all was actually will hinder that. They will actually be releasing the money we had to spend our bills and explains are as uh, emergency repair that we cannot wait to get fixed. The example is to be the repeater tire going down again. So this is I want to make sure that $1,000 is going to suit how it's being used. No fire department's got any money taken out of their account without their permission. The $19,000 left over goes to the fire department addressing. They just have to show up the meeting or call or treasure and make arrangements to be a check up at any time. It's not like there's a delay of getting their money to them unless they make the run themselves to do it. The person in the treasurer writes the checks to them, they come right out and immediately ask for it. No questions to ask for it, except the explanation of what you use it for. That's all they ask for. The two receipts now get the money directly to them. The Harvest Beaver now gets it directly sent to them now, minus the $1,000. The city has an issue with it right now. I thought the Beaver Chief and the Harvest Chief, they're fine with like it is now. Of that, the other five fire departments I'm resident tonight right now is the Hart, the Rockport, Mike Henry, Beavernown, Cromwell, and Rosine have no problem with the issues as it is now. Okay. So we still get the money according to like we have, except for the thousand dollars given to them. 
Yeah, I think that we'll need to look at the ordinance and, like I said, and let the other let the other uh, departments weigh in on it. I agree. I think this ordinance has been in since right around 97, 98. Last year, in the extra monies that you're talking about that you keep in escrow or whatever, uh, where did it go? It's still there. Uh -huh. We had no hard expenditures outside of maintaining the grounds. So the year before. The same thing. It just rolls over. So how much is in that? How much is in that fund now? I cannot tell you at this time. Uh, that's what I said. I really don't have the number. I wish I had it's, a number with it. Uh, I know that I've been told it's not enough to take care of a major repair. Major repair at this time? No. No. There's not enough to repair a major repair or take care of a disaster because they have a lot of expenses during the coordination and all that. They work with Charlie. He's not here tonight, but they work with Tim. They work with the uh, EMS and all these in in a in a disaster. So they need some funds on hand for that. Plus, like I said, if they, if a roof was to get blowed off or anything, they don't have enough money in the account now to pay for it. Two things I'd like to have, uh, and if you will send me a copy of that ordinance, and uh, Ralph, if you'll tell me, uh, send it to Ann or Miranda. How much money? How much money is in that particular account? How much is in the account? That's right. Is that fair enough? Okay. Yeah, that's fine. Have three tables at this time then, or are we voting? We have got a second, no? well, first and second. Uh, Here's the only thing I'll say to this, and I don't, if that's your decision, but I, I do agree, though. Uh, it's one thing I do. If seven are paying into the association and two are not paying into the association, it's going to be hard to uh, be a part of the association if you're asking everybody else to pay their dues, too. That's the only thing I'm going to, if that's your decision. And, and I, I can't agree with you more. Yeah. But again, it's not our intentions to leave the association. Mm. Not our intentions at all. Our intentions, again, is to have control over our thousand dollars. And I invite you gentlemen, we'll sit down at any time when we want to go back through the years for what the association building and property has provided we can do that. I can tell you firsthand what it provided to Dundee during the ice storm was zero. And I counted that as that is not a correct number. Zero. Uh, we did uh, our okay. Yeah. Hey, we're, 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 not, we're not. I, I, we're not. We're not. I know this is not the place of the time. But we we're, we're not going to do this. No, okay. we're not. Okay. But I, but I invite any of you. To uh, talk to us anytime. About okay, we'll have the association come and uh, and the uh, and all the other departments, and we'll bring it up at the next meeting, the next regular yeah, meeting, which will be August. Just to add in, I'm sorry to do this, but any money spent out of our accountant association is approved of by every meeting, by the yeah. members at the meeting. Yeah, you can get Larry that uh, right. amount that's in there, and did we all get a copy of that? Yes, that will be approved. Okay. Well, thank everyone. Thank. You. Thank you. Uh, Do we need to just table that? Yes. Because you've got definitely. Well, I mean, we couldn't. That wouldn't be a legal motion as it is now, because the ordinance would have to be amended. We need to rescind it. Then. Yeah. Let me withdraw my motion. And I withdraw my second. Until we uh, until we uh, get the copy of the ordinance, where we can sit and look at it and see what's involved and whether this motion will. Uh, okay. Will. Okay. okay. Guess something no. else. Yeah. Uh, for, Next of all, I need to introduce Sportville City Council Member Richard White. I just wanted to stand up, Richard. That's I'm glad to have any any city, community, whatever in the uh, in the county to come by and watch our court meetings. Yep. We appreciate you being here. Richard. He's very involved, and uh, I've uh, recently had a long conversation with him, and it's fine. Uh, Fordsville's well uh, represented there on the council. Think so too. One other thing. Uh, Keith, you know how much money I've got allowed, uh, allocated for chip and seal. Um, I've got some figures here as uh, you gave to me and also Miranda gave to me or whatever about the price of rock and different things. But if we could figure out how much rock I used last year, and it'll be pretty close to the same. And if a call be made to, uh, is it Republic? Rock Crusher. What is their name? No, Mark Marietta. Mark I'm sorry. Marietta, yeah, yeah, I'm sorry. They they keep changing, but if they can't, and maybe I need, if a judge, if I need this in form of motion, I'll also do it. But if they can't provide us X amount of tons of the number nines, then uh, that should let us out of our uh, our uh, bid, 
and if they can't provide that then uh, we should with that amount within that particular month time frame then I think we should go to Butler County and pick it up and bring it in and uh, we can ask Justin about it but uh, make sure the legal part of okay. it but I'm yep. pretty sure if they don't provide it for you then you can go somewhere else and get yeah. it. Yeah, I don't want to get in a position to where we get a third done and they say, well, we're out of nines. We've sold all our nines. Mm -hmm. I want to be in a position when we start, when we start, complete, and then, uh, but part of the bidding process, I understand that, but if they can't furnish the item, then we need to look elsewhere and be able to do that. Okay. Yeah. Uh, do I, is that need to be in a form of motion or anything, Judge? Or we all know I, where we're standing? I believe we know where we're standing. I believe we need to make sure that we do it and make sure that they did refuse to get it to us on time and go somewhere else and get it. Well, are they running out of rock? Or? No, he said the bid came in so high, and then sometimes they don't have it in time when we need it, like chip and seal. We yep. need so much at one time. Right. Well, according to, uh, let me find it here. I think. Uh, uh, I don't think uh, Mark Marietta has any mount anything on stock. I don't know about that. In stock. They started crashing again, so. Okay. I don't but, know exactly how many tons they have. Uh, maybe Keith, you can provide us that information next court meeting. Yeah, I'll appreciate it. Yeah. Thank you. 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 He's got a organic trees, and he said that spray is going to kill them. Uh, I told him to cut the call the road department, and they would explain. Uh, yeah. Well, we're not spraying off of our right of way. That's what I tried to explain. Yeah. To him. And matter of fact, I was with in the truck when they did uh, Renfro Road. I rode with Jason on that and watched it. Is any of the trees, Keith, that you're spraying, uh, will it kill Woody? Yes, it will. It will, but we don't spray beyond that right away. We, we kill trees. I think he's going to call you. Uh, okay. Uh, okay, it's sprayed. I, I was with him. Yeah. Yeah, it does a little bit on the woods. It sets them back. Uh, it was explained to me. Uh, we sent folks to the uh, class with the state to learn how to uh, do that and that's what they said it done yeah, there's a, something else that is early spring that we need to make sure that we spray early it stunts the Johnson grass in the year this uh, we got a truck in too late and hurt her right. control on Johnson we just, grass we just want to look into that before we spray but, but everything else it's going to save at least one mowing this year by getting this on there and maybe more and you can spray uh, both sides going up and back uh, five miles in uh, 23 minutes. Yeah, it, it's supposed to be about four times faster. Yeah. How many miles, oh. Chuck? Five miles in 23 minutes. 15 miles. 15, <coughs> uh, 20 miles an hour. Yeah. That's good. Well, you take half of that though for the road itself. Well, I mean, two trips. Now that was a trip up and back. Up and back. That's a brand new truck, isn't it? Oh, yeah, everything working perfect. That's a good thing. Anything else, Larry? Yeah. I would like to check in and maybe hire a couple at the road department. I've noticed, and I'm not blaming nobody because, you know, we, we're short out there and we're a couple men short. I think we need some more because I've called in a couple things, and if you don't have the men, you can't get it done. Uh, we actually had at least one application this week. I haven't got a chance to get it to uh, uh, Keith. The man can do it. Everything that's there, and uh, he wanted. He only wants to work half time, uh, and so. Uh, I but I haven't got a chance to go over it with Keith. His name is Dwayne Johnston. No relation to me. <laughs> that, but... No Ken. No. Um, <laughs> no. No. He's from the Hartford. Oh, Johnson. Yeah. He's from the Hartford area. But that app that this one work part time? Yes. I think we need some more full time. Huh? He's got a prosthetic uh, he's got a prosthesis and standing there doing anything too often long her to. But he can drive he can uh, he can drive trucks, he can drive the tractors, he can do it all. And has has been an over road truck driver and 
You've done a little bit of everything. Well, if we could get some, I'm not against having good part-time help. Okay. I certainly not. But anyway, well, I will try to have something here for you, and we'll run another at, at this point uh, and see if we can get some more at least seasonal. So, anything else, Larry? No, uh, but I think we need some full time. You know, when we can't get our work done, we need to. That's just my opinion. Hmm. That's all I got. That's okay. Got. Uh, does anybody have anything for the good of the body and the general public? You got. Oh, I got one more thing. Uh, did you uh, check in to what I called you on that? Uh, when I called you from the conference. Okay. Refresh my memory. I think so. What on was the uh, on the log thing up? But, uh, yeah. Yes. We're working on that. Oh, okay. Uh, yeah. Okay. Working on several options. I think th that thing's going to happen. Is that? Did that help any? It's or? possible. We're going to get. It's possible I think that Mr. we. Mr. Miss Haney, they may want to enlarge. Uh, Ann has also applied for FEMA money for that because it could affect our bridge. Okay. If it broke loose, it could break our bridge. So I think working the whole, we're not dropping one idea to try to get the other because right. we want that thing out of there. And I'm not even ruling out calling the Duck Dynasty people and get them to come remove it like they did their beaver dam that time. <laughs> you, anybody can use, do it. Use the big boom theory. Love of it. Hey, when's the next, where are we having the next meeting? Yeah, where? 23rd. 23rd. Who wants to host the next meeting? We can't afford to. It doesn't. Okay, it doesn't, let's do it. The Fordsville Fire Department. Or, uh, senior uh, Center. Senior Center, 27th. 23rd, didn't you 23rd. say? 23rd. 5 o'clock? Yes. The 23rd of Fordsville. Yes. Senior Center. Uh, this, is, this is July, right? Yes. Yeah. Yep. 5 o'clock? Mm-hmm. Maybe we can get some city councilmen there. Yeah. A special call, Judge. Yes, this special call meeting. Yes, it's special call. Nothing the, off the agenda, guys. Yeah, and nothing off the agenda, but the flex thing's going to be on the agenda. Will we be able to have our fire department, you know, the fire department stuff at least on the end? I don't think we'll need to do that. We need no, to do that. We need some information there. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Do you yeah, guys we'll get want the information. state dinners or anything like that? We we cater to the people yeah. that come to Fordsville. Mm -hmm. Yeah, certainly. Yeah, that'll work. You got to eat. <laughs> well, we have that counter then. Oh, yeah. Could it? Uh, this means the jam. Thanks, everybody, for coming.